Это у вас дороже, как у меня. У меня по 8 тысяч такие. Или это как что, я? 500 тысяч. Я. I have an appointment with Mr. Russell. So you met uh, Dr. Davenish only six months ago? Seven. In July. And he proposed to you one month later. I suppose it was uh, love at first sight. It does happen. Matthew is a very romantic person. I'm sure he is, Miss Tarkovska. And are you sure your husband is not married or involved with another woman? Of course. Have you not received all the necessary certificates from Dr. Devonish? Uh, Miss Tarkovska, the British Consulate requires evidence of accommodation and financial status. I have to satisfy myself that you're not using this to gain entry to Britain for other purposes. I suppose you have met his parents. Not in person, but we often speak on the telephone. They are very happy about the wedding. Uh, Mr. Tarkovska, Dr. Devonish says his father died ten years ago. Thank you. Quite sure. Um, how much to? Brown and pork. Thanks, pogs. You've got any? I know what that is. Oh, bloody awful weather we're having in it.
Good afternoon. I'm looking for Dr. Matthew Devonish. Is this the correct address? My son's not at home at the moment. May I tell him who called? Oh, yes, please. I am Alicia from Warsaw. I am due to arrive tomorrow, but I am one day early. How odd. I don't remember him mentioning you. Well, I'm sure you're anxious to check into your hotel. When Matthew returns from work, I'll tell him you called. When will he... But it's not too bad. I'll show you what we've got available. They're, they're 23 pounds a week. Plenty of hanging space. Uh, and two electric rings here for cooking. There, and a little light. Drawstring oh. curtains. So, you want it? I'll need a week's rent in advance plus deposit. Deposit? Oh, don't tell me. You're skint. I'm sorry. Um, forget about the deposit. You don't look like you're going to do a runner. Oh, thank you. You know, you're the second one we've had here. Oh, a Polish. Jean Queer? <laughs> we had a, a Polish fella stop in here about three years ago. He was always skint. Oh, he gave me this. Hang on a minute. Here, have some of that. Well, go on, it won't bite you. This, is it real, do you reckon? It is real amber. Well, that's a turn up. Oh, if the meter sticks, just give it a good crack with this. Okay? If you need anything, just shout. I'll read your palm sometime for you, if you like. Oh, thank you. Kid. Evening, Red. The boss wants you. Really? Now.
Are you red? Great pair of twins tonight. Yeah. And that was just on that blonde top from Gateshead. That's too much. Yeah. Go on, yeah. Tell me, when you rang me, I didn't ring you. How much do you want for it? Let me know how much. <coughs> no, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah, we can talk. Okay, call me back on it, yeah? Right, we've got a delivery. Yeah? Usual route, usual payment. Okay. And no more fuck ups, do you understand? Yeah, sure. No stop offs, no arsing round. It's okay. You can trust me. Hey. Yeah? If there are any mistakes, you know it'll be more than your feet that gets docked, don't you? Yeah, I know. Sure. Would you just sit down, because he's busy at the moment, please. I... to see you. Was it okay to come here, Matthew? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you look fantastic. Oh, thank you. I can't believe you're really here. Well, how is everyone? <laughs> How's Tomas and Giorgio? Oh, they are fine. Everyone is fine. And Richard? Richard is okay. He's missing you. I know. His letters... Uh, <laughs> God, it seems a million light years away. <laughs> I've got to get back there. And meanwhile, here are you. And here am I. Uh, yes, I'm sorry, Alice. Can we get our things off? I think we might need a hand, actually. Alice, give me a hand undressing this person. Uh, of course, Dr. Devonish. Uh, um... May I assist you with your plans, sir? If you really want to, but I think the doctor wants to examine my ribs. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, careful. Ah. Wait. Ah. Ah. Just think, Matthew. This time tomorrow, I'll be Mrs. Matthew Devonish. Alicia, I don't know how to tell you this, but there may be a bit of a problem with that. Ah! Oh. A problem? I don't think... I can't do it, Alicia. What do you mean, you can? I'm sorry, Alice, my mother doesn't agree to it. She said if I went ahead with the marriage, she'd stop my allowance. Your mother? What's she got to do with it? Why did you even have to tell her of our plans? I never keep secrets from Mummy. 
wiggle your fingers. Damn! Ah. Miss you. What am I going to do? I can't go back to Warsaw now. There is nothing for me. But... But without citizenship here... Matthew! All my plans, everything... I'm sorry, but what can I do? Pieprzony man cynic. Hey, you want bed? Me? Yes, you. Are you married? Uh, I don't think so. Will you marry me? Yes or no? I, I just had a really bad accident and um, I'm, I'm probably not thinking very clearly, but uh, no. Thank you, but uh, no. Goodbye, Monsieur. Alice, where would you go? What would you do? I'm a self-sufficient, emancipated woman. I'm graduate. I know English. I shall find a good job. And in the meanwhile, Matthew Devonish, you can go to hell. for a job. I can work as a waitress. Do you really think this place needs a waitress? I could wash the dishes. Not for what I pay you, pet. You ruin those nice hands. Sorry. And I'm willing to work very long hours. But you do have a work permit. Well... Sorry. about your bruises. I'm sorry to hear about your little uh, accident. Yeah, it was a bit of a bad night, actually. Somebody had a good night. I mean, more the tapes and the cash and everything, eh? Somebody must have had a fucking good night. They must have thought they'd hit the fucking parts. I'm telling you the fucking truth. And I really think I beat myself up and stole my own bike Very for fun. Very convincing story, eh, Noni? I'm not convinced. It's, it's the truth. I'm not convinced. It's what happened. I'm not convinced. I'm, fucking I'm awesome. not convinced. I'm not convinced. Get out of here. That's what am I meant to do? There's something I can do about it. I'll tell you what to do. You know I'm a generous man, don't you? You know I'm a generous yeah, man. Yeah. You know I'm going to give you another chance, don't you? Well, it's just a question of paying one's debts, right? So you get out there, you find me my money, and I'll consider letting you keep your lungs. Two grand, you've got three days now. Piss off. Three days? Piss off out of it. I don't have that kind of money. Am I, am I going to find You had it? a good time fucking losing it. You can have a better time fucking finding it. Now get out! I can't do Piss it. Piss off out of it. I said get off of it. Oh, yeah. 
So, how's the world treating you then? Oh, don't ask. Not bad, is it? Listen, any of your brothers got any jobs at the moment? You know, sort of cash in hand or whatever. Work in? That's not your style. Well, you know what they say, it's in desperate times. I'll, uh, I'll make a few calls, see what I can do. Cheers, Michael. Nine each, 14 for the pair. Every shop I've got. You got them today, I've got you four pounds off your normal price. I want 9.95 a pair. Ah, uh, hot dog, please. Hot dog for this lady there. Yes, sweetheart, what would you like? Orange, please. Orange juice, that's 40 piece, sweetheart. Thank you very much. There you go. Do you want onions? Yes, please. Okay. Ah. Oh, Shit. Man, Jesus, oh. Aiden. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yes, love? Um, thanks for giving me this job. I can't do this. I've lost it now. No, it's a mess. Look. All right. Look, just go around the back and get some more chips in. Fine. Good lad. Sorry, love. What did you ask for? Remember me? Um. Oh yeah, you are the man I undressed. <laughs> yes, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> um. Listen, uh, I was wondering if you were still interested in that offer you made me. You know, to get married. <laughs> are you serious? Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you really serious? It'll cost you. How much? Two thousand. Two thousand? <sighs> you must be joking. Okay, um, fifteen hundred. Eight hundred? No, no, no. No, now he's joking. Okay, nine. Thousand. Alicia. Alice. Aiden. Aiden what? Carey. C A R E Y. Alice, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds all right. Well, it's, it's really exquisite. How much can you give? Six hundred pounds. Thousand, and the coat is yours. Six hundred is the final price, madam. Can I help you? How much can you offer me for this beautiful coat? Więcej jak trzysta, nie dawaj. Jak to trzysta? W innym sklepie dawali mi 600. To pani z Polski? Z Polski. Z jakiego miasta? Z Warszawy. Słyszałeś, Nuncie, z Warszawy. W jakiej dzielnicy pani mieszka? Na Ochocie. Do wojny mieszkaliśmy w Naszolcu pod dziewiętnastym. Taka duża, pięćpiętrowa kamienica z dwiema oficynami. Stoi jeszcze? Nie wiem, nie pamiętam. Wszystkich zawsze pyta o ten dom. 
Nie możemy kupić od pani tego futra. Ale jeżeli tam dawali pani 600, to niech pani zaraz do nich wraca. Nikt pani nie da więcej. Dziękuję. Chwileczkę, niech pani zaczeka. Jak pani wróci do Warszawy, proszę do mnie napisać, czy ten dom nadal stoi. Niech pani zapamięta, pięć piętrowy, dwie oficyny, na solcu. I'm not going back. It's only 500. That's right. But you said six. I did. But now it's five. 550. Hi. Hi. Sure, you want to go through with this? I mean, your doctor friend was right. You don't know the first thing about me. <laughs> you have a valid British passport. That is all I need to know. Shall we go in? Yeah, just a minute. Um, I just want to say that. Uh, yeah. Aren't we forgetting something? What's that? Money. Oh yeah. Oh, this isn't what we arranged. Um, it's the first part. The rest you will have after the wedding. How are you? All right. You better not be bullshitting us. It's okay, you can trust me. Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce my fiance, Alice. This is Red and Jack, who've uh, agreed to be witnesses. Not bad, Kerry. Not bad at all, mate. Let's have a piss. You shall you, Matt. Oh, yeah. 500 quid. Live the rest tomorrow. In about an hour, I'm going to have a very rich wife. If you say so. Remember any funny business, and you'll have a rich widow. What is a bird like that doing with a dosser like you, anyway? You're right. I can't get married to a dress like this. Give me a jacket. Give me a jacket. Look after it, Kerry. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Aidan Carey. To witness that I, Aidan Carey. Do take thee, Alicia Strakowska. To take thee, Alicia Strakowska. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. By the powers vested in me, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Kiss her then. Your marriage certificate. Congratulations. Thank you. That's all? That is all, yes. Thanks a lot. I really enjoyed that. That's great. Cheers, Red. I will do. I'm a married man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's fine. Alice, wait there. That'll be 25 pounds. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, Carrie! It's all right, you get it back. Give him the change. You've got a short memory, Mrs. Carey. Now, where is it? You've already made a killing. No, half a killing. I'd like the other half now, please. You'll get it. When? Soon. Aiden, I'll pay you. We made a deal, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. 
And... Okay, maybe I should have explained. I don't have all that money right now, but you'll get it, I promise. I'll certainly get it. Tomorrow. Why don't you tell me your address? No, I've got a better idea. Why don't you give me yours? Okay. Till tomorrow. Your English is very good. I also speak German and French. University? Yes, Warsaw University. Have you ever done um, worked on a computer? Uh, yes, many times. And what about business correspondence? Of course. Well, you certainly seem to be very well qualified. What sort of job do you have in mind? Anything that will be a challenge and offer me good prospects for a promotion. Yeah, there's a possibility. Can we leave it at that for the time being? Well, I mean, it's start. after seven. Uh, well, we've got to start um, it's after seven, and I'm due home at uh, an hour ago. Okay. Well, fine. Let's do it quickly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we've got we've got Larkin, we've got Hughes, we've got Spender, we've got who? Lowell. Lowell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, we haven't got the space for it. We've got space, Frank. I don't know. Whitman, um, leave some gratin. It's absolutely crucial. I mean, we've got to get some original stuff here, you know. Are you there, Frank? I am, I am. Frank, well... Look, George, you can argue its merits till you're blue in the face. It's doggerel to me. Well, you know, this is a very highly regarded yeah, George, piece we've got to make. This, um, this introduction, it's, um, page two, second paragraph. Uh, this quotation. A poem should not mean but be. Now, whose is that? We have to give a reference. I have no idea. Can't you check well, can it? Can you get Maddie to chase it up for me? Yeah. Well, check it your end. No, I haven't got the faintest idea who it was. Well, what are you paying your staff McLeish. for? McLeish. You know? I mean, you've got all the, the necessary reference there. I'm sorry, did you say something? Frank. It's a quotation from Archibald McLeish. Frank, are you sure? There? Yes. As Poetica, uh, 26. Frank. Of course. Frank! <laughs> now, it's all right, George. Don't bother. I've just remembered. Archibald MacLeish. <laughs> Mr. Alkowska! Mr. Alkowska, I've got the bags for you. Oh, my! Don't you look posh? Off somewhere nice, dear. I'm going to have dinner at a place called Chez Marcel. Well, I hope he's paying. Who's the lucky fellow? It isn't a fellow, it's my employer. We are meeting to discuss publishing. If you say so, dear. Of course. And what's this about bags? Oh, plastic carrier bags. The Paul who lived here before you always asked me to save them for him. What for? Well, to take back to Poland. He said you didn't have those bags there. Oh, that's right. In Poland, we go shopping with a bucket. With a bucket? <laughs>
There is no that I think badly of my country. There is much that is good there, and things are beginning to change. But such things do not happen overnight. Some things do happen overnight. Did you know pistachio has always been regarded as some kind of aphrodisiac? Did you know? That? <laughs> I thought we might go for a drive later on, up the coast. Of course, if it got too late, we could always book into a hotel. They say Polish girls are very romantic. Are you very romantic, Alex? I? How can I afford such a luxury? It doesn't pay the rent. a worthwhile job. You make real decisions. You influence people's lives. That's what I wish for. It could be a rain. Really? Can you arrange it? You won't regret that I have excellent qualifications. Oh, I don't doubt that for a moment, my dear. Well, well. We are doing our bit for international relations, aren't we? How much does one cost? Or is he paying you? Are you following me? Oh, I hope so. You see, I'm still out of pocket on that little deal we had. Hayden, please. No, wait a minute. Oh, pistachio. Good choice. What the hell do you think you're doing? Mm. I tell you what. Why don't you just hand her fee straight over to me? Alice, who is this? Frank, don't pay any attention. Frank, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is very rude of me. I haven't introduced myself. I'm her husband. We make a lovely couple, don't we? Oh, incidentally, I'd get a written contract if I were you. She doesn't always deliver the goods. How dare you insinuate that a man in my position would take advantage of a oh, girl like this? Oh, my mistake, pal. I suppose that was a paternal grope under the table, was it? Aiden, please! Aiden, Aiden, Come stop! On, We've got to check out some fitted kitchens. Cheers, mate. Drop in for tea sometime. Come on. Okay, where is it? You idiot! Do you want to ruin everything? If you really want your money, get the hell out of here! He runs the publishing house. He could offer me a job. The only job that jerk's gonna offer you is warming the bedsheets. It wasn't like that. You've got an awful lot to learn. Listen, the money. I really need it. <laughs> For your sick mother's operation, I suppose. Okay. Tomorrow morning, I ring you. I promise.
That's right. Thank you. I seem to have come at an opportune moment. It's a man's job, this, you know. Oliver Crane, Home Office, Immigration Department. Miss Strzelkowska. Uh, that's my maiden name. Since I got married, my name is Carrie. Uh, of course it is. Sit down, <laughs> please. Um, what is it your husband does for a living? Do you want some coffee? Or tea? Uh, what is it he does again? He's the salesman. A salesman. How interesting. What's his product? Double glazing. Fascinating. Is that how you met? You asked for a quote and uh, fell in love at first sight? No, no. I... I met him in Poland. He was... He was on the holiday. Uh, do you keep a diary, Miss... Uh, I'm sorry. Mrs. Carey. No, certainly not. Well, in that case, I'll have to ask you to make a mental note. Shall we say Monday next week, 10.30 a.m., my office? And uh, your husband, too, of course. Uh, what's all this about? Just checking a few details. You see, when a young foreign lady enters into matrimony a mere four days after her arrival in this country... That's not against the law, is it? Well, that depends. The system's open to abuse, alas. In which case, the offending persons are returned to the country from whence they came. Oh. And you didn't even have a honeymoon, I understand. Darling! You're back early. I'm so pleased. Mr. Crane from the home office. This is my husband. How do you do? How do you do? Um, would you like a drink? Uh, Alice and I are just about to have supper. I mean, you could join us. No, no. Uh, I just dropped in to introduce myself. We can have a longer chat when you come to my office next week. Till uh, next Monday, 10.30. Thank you. <clears throat> Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 I was lucky I arrived. Oh, don't worry. I would have managed without you. Sure. What do you want? Oh, I wonder. Oh. There's been a bit of a hold up. That's okay. I can wait. What do you think you are doing? I'm just staking my claim. You can buy me out whenever you're ready. <laughs> but this is my private room. Ours, I think, darling. Do you want me to call the police? Your friend from the home office should be getting to his car now. Should we give him a shout? Aiden. It's been a long day. Can we please be reasonable? You'll get your money back, I promise. Didn't I? What shell shall I have? None. I'll take the bottom, yeah? I wonder... Where do you think you are going to sleep? I can tell you one place that's off limits.
Alice, come on. She's never got jam before. She's tried it a good few times. First time this bloody lock's played up. Miss Farkovska, can you help from the other side, please? You should have told me your old man was moving in. We've got bigger rooms on the ground floor and all. You'll not want to be climbing all those stairs. What do you mean? He told me the good news. Oh, don't worry, Pet, you'll be fine here. I've had five of them. It's just like shelling bees. When's it due? I'll, I'll do a chart if you like. A chart? Uh, astrology and tarot reading. Oh, I, I, I don't charge. Not to friends. We'd love that. Thank you. Oh, I know what it's like. You can't get comfy unless you've got the bed to yourself. Well, uh, I'll leave you to it. American language tape. We guarantee you hours of fun learning. Lesson one, chapter two, in the language course. This deals with general conversation. At the brook sat a wolf. 
You may shout so loud at your house. Aunt Selma, although toothless, looks healthy. Teach me how to operate the clutch and choke. You'll be impressed by the beauty of a few distant buttes. Who knew that the Duke was so cute? You'd ride Ford, Plymouth, or Chevrolet. This is the nicest party I've ever been to. Is I talking to you? If you play the fiddle for me, I'll give you this lovely lady. I wish it wasn't so windy this weekend. You won't lose any weight in the Say you're going out so early. You've had no breakfast. You know, that's very bad for your digestion, Alice. Bread, eggs, banana. Do you like tea? I can make you tea and a yogurt. I think we'll have a yogurt, yeah? You know, it's a beautiful day out. Thought maybe we could go for a walk in the park later. Serve breakfast to your other women, not to me. Do you know what you have for me? A piece of paper. You don't exist. As simple as that. You don't exist. I, I, I've done a, a preliminary chart. It's looking very auspicious. Of course, you'll be hoping for a Scorpio. Hormones, is it? The Slavic soul. Only work two hours. So what? I did in two hours what I was supposed to do in three. You could eat your lunch in those toilets. Two hours is not three hours.
Good evening. I would have liked to have made you a traditional English meal, but I couldn't quite manage roast beef and Yorkshire pudding on that Bunsen burner over there. Are you hungry? No, thank you. Sure. Quite sure. Anyway, would probably send me a bill for it. What's the name of that yellow one? Saffron rice. It's very good. one? It's dal. Some lentils and spices. down and make vows. Sid could see the castle in the mist. He was a fool because he ate so much. The electric jug is plugged under the rug. Turks hurried to get there first. I want to try this TV set before it's too late. Downtown you'll get a brown blouse. I saw a wounded wolf hey, by the window Carrie, in the swamp. Carrie, happy birthday. The waiter who waited on us Don't was well. This lunch was so rich that I can't even eat that piece and drink the punch. Tomorrow the weather will be very stormy in North Carolina. What? What are you doing? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Alice, we're leaving. Come on, help me. What's he doing? Carrie? Carrie! What are you doing? Come with us! Carrie, we're gonna keep the door. Jack's gonna keep the door, Carrie! Hard! What's he doing in there? Fucking shagging her and open the door! Come on! Pack your case. Shoot it! Shoot it! I just want to move along and hold on to that one. It's okay, Alice. Back. All right. Night? So what? You were leaving anyway. You can make a early start. And where am I supposed to go? Well, you can either come with me or you can find someone on your own. You can be sure that if I only had the money, I'd drum it into your mouth and then watch you choke on it. Meaning you don't have it, right? You don't deserve it. You're no better than them. Oh, and you're the Virgin Mary. Well, maybe you just don't charge enough. 
Alice. Alice. I apologize. So now what? All right. It's room 28, second floor, up the stairs. Thank you. I have to keep to my plan. In one year, I earn money enough to fly to the States. I rent an apartment in Manhattan. I find work. Maybe journalist. Maybe publishing. In five years, I'm running my own company. In Poland, it takes five years to build one house. And I've achieved nothing. I'm sorry too. That was very hot, you know. <laughs> I had to deliver some tapes that were smuggled in from Holland. Puno. Yeah, porno. So what's happened? I lost them, but they were stolen. Why did you do this? I needed the money. <laughs> Who doesn't? What for? The same as you. The Great Escape. Great Escape? Where? I don't know, somewhere there's no cues, no yellow lines or keep off the grass. And, and what do you want to do out there? Gauguin had the right idea. Tahiti. <laughs> I'd take it easy, lie in the sun, paint a bit maybe. I'm afraid I haven't got round to any five-year plan like you. That's a pity. You know, your drawings are really good. Thank you. Why didn't you go to college? Well, I went to college. That's why I came up here. But I was uh, invited to leave. Why? I don't think they like my choice of friends much. I'm not surprised. Do you want a drink? That'd be great. Thank you. So how much is 2,000 worth? About 10 pence. And who's this guy with the beard? Mieszka, Polish king. He turned us into Christians. What about this serious-looking bloke here? The Zarinsky revolutionary. So he turned you into communists? He tried. And what are you? Communist or Catholic? Me? 
I am an obedient subject of Her Majesty, just like you. <laughs> God save the Queen. Nice to love you. <laughs> oh. I suppose we should be congratulated. The marriage has now been consumed. <laughs> you don't expect it to change anything, do you? No, why should it? Except you just wave goodbye to any hope of an annulment. Oh, that's okay. Force will be fine for me. Are all you poles this romantic? Mm hmm. Where is he? How should I know? Now come on, love. Your old man owes us nearly two grand. Of course, it's not big money, but it's the principal, isn't it? I haven't seen. I haven't seen him since the wedding. Oh, right. Who was it sharing your bed last night? The Phantom of the Opera. So what? Now don't get lippy. I don't know what trick you're trying to pull. There are no lips, no trick. We just don't have the money. You'll have to give us more time. Don't look at me, sweetheart. If you want more time, you'll have to ask the boss. Hey, Jack. All right. You what? I'll ask him. Where does he live? Is this one a full shilling? Foreign. Foreign. Take your passport. We might need to identify the body. <laughs> <laughs> I need ten minutes. Please. Can't you play something livelier? You know, a bit more upbeat. Yeah.
Cheers, mate. Good luck. Miss you, baby. Any hobbies on the night? Miss you, baby. Any hour in my side? Miss you, baby. Miss you all night long. But this time I miss you most. You when you're gone from my love and all. Checked out. Tell me something, just out of curiosity. What do you see in a mongrel like Carey? Hmm? He's. He's intelligent. Attractive. He's funny. He has many talents. Unfortunately, one of them isn't paying his debts. It is... It is my fault. I spent it. Well, I'm afraid that's very unlucky for a... I owe the money. And I assure you, I'll pay you back. But... But I just need a little time. Please. Two weeks. Two weeks? How? Hmm. Oh. oh, there are ways, yes. I mean, take me for example. I might have use for someone with your qualifications. You... You employ graduates? <laughs> that is very good. I like you, Alice. You got a lot of class. How are you, Michael? All right? Yeah. <laughs> Usual, is it? Yeah, I'll have a pint, please, sir. Been somebody in Askin by you? Jack, well, girl, you in, no, you're mates. Yeah. Just walked in. Right. <laughs> hey, Kelly! 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 I might as well tell him I don't have it, all right? What? The money. You soft bastard. Forget it. There's a new shipment of tapes waiting for you. What are you talking about? Where have you been? It's all sorted. That bird's a knockout. Bird? Your fucking wife. Where is she? In the club. Boss is made up. Punters love her. She's got a lovely body. <laughs> Scum. Was she working for him? Dead right. Well, I'll tell him he'll do the tapes, or what? I'll tell him myself. The boss says he'll be in his room after the show. He's expecting me to join him. It's so good as to tell him that was not part of our deal. And it never will be. You're no different than the rest. That's what you think. Welcome to the show. That's good to go. Tonight on the show, we got a special thrill on the bill. Alice from Wonderland, all the way from Sunny Blue. Hey,
How are we doing, mate? Do you want to get a look at this one? The cure on the block to see you. Not now, Terry. I'm sorry that you left me. It was never part of my plan. What? <laughs> I thought you were doing this for us. You know? I mean, I thought that it might have meant something. I... I owed you money. And that's all it was? <sighs> Fine. Fine. Well, at least I know now.
A real gentleman would at least offer his coat. We'll fool him in this temperature. <laughs> 